only am I running a marathon. I'm running a marathon in one of the most isolated countries in the world. And having a first-hand look, experience and glance at interacting with these people that have probably never seen that many Western people. I don't think many people can say they've done that. The 하고 내일 이제 봄을 나가지만 이 3만 여명의 군중이 들어오고 그냥 전 연도에서 우리들이 그 환영하게 됩니다. 그러나 체육으로 흥한 나라, 체육으로 흥성거리게 하라는 것이 우리 당과 국가의 그 입장입니다. 우리 그저 경연은 최고 용대자 동지께서 체육 사업에 깊은 관심을 돌리고. 다른 나라 선수에 대한 이제 그 환영에서 또 우리를 잘 알게 되고 이런 것들이 이제 있게 되려고 Checking in for our air coral flight. I'm Amy Fuller, originally from Keston, Kent, currently residing in London. Woo! I'm a two time Winter Olympian and I'm here in the DPRK, hopefully, ready and prepped to run my first marathon. I had no idea how you'd arrive in the DPRK. I'd never seen it on a board, Pyongyang. Number seven, checked in. Struggled to find good food, but Miriam has come through with the goods. Yes, look at that. Getting in those carbs ahead of the race. <laughs> I'm Miriam Jaeger from Zurich, Switzerland. I'm a retired skier. I was a pro for 12 years. And uh, we finally got the OK that for 2014 in Sochi, our sport uh, would be finally in the Olympics. And uh, I made it, but it was definitely not the result I was hoping for. But, you know, to experience the, the Olympic spirit, that's what I think makes being an Olympic athlete so cool. My motto is about exploring new territory. So physically and mentally, I'm here putting myself through something I've never done before. So I'm just doing the 10K race. Even 10K for me, you know, I don't run that much anymore. So I, I'm gonna just run with my current fitness. <laughs> we are on our way to gate number seven uh, for our departure to Pyongyang. Very quiet in the airport. I was definitely a little worried. I don't know, there's this inner this inner fear, I guess, where I, I couldn't really define it. Hiya. You don't know much about this country, you know? Nobody does. We left our phones and we left our laptops and uh, just departed to the airport. Thanks. And I was like, this is already weird. Like, I cannot send any text message. Like, if something happens on the flight, I mean, it just happens. So just landed 
We're in the van on the way to the hotel. We have been met by our boss man. No, 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 I'm not the boss. <laughs> yeah, en route to find our new abode for the next eight days. When we arrived here, uh, the hotel was pretty much empty. They put everyone in our crew on a different floor. That instantly made me feel nervous. I just couldn't work out or understand why we were all on separate floors. All good though. I slept, survived the first night, feeling very comfortable and at ease uh, here now. Day one, instantly thrown into the history of the DPRK. This place is called Man Gyeongdae. When our president came and was born here, our country was under the Japanese rule. So he witnessed and perceived the sufferings of our Korean people under the colonial rule. Can I go in? Yes, please. Without our president Kim Il-sung, we cannot think of Korea and our people's happiness of today. It is a place where I think all the Koreans go, because while we were there, there's literally groups coming. Of course, there's some groups of Chinese tourists, but you know, most of them were actually Koreans. But I did realize it literally was holy to them. Like, you could not step on the grass learning about the leaders, that is what everything is based upon here. That history is essentially their religion. Oh, can we go up the top? So that phone you see over there is literally just a phone to call around here. We got the SIM cards. Um, there's no internet. Um, yeah, so don't have my phone, don't have access to the whole world anymore. <laughs> I don't know really what's happening. Actually, that's kind of cool. I do not know what's happening in this world. No idea how to... Speed. Oh. We're off. Whoa! This is the gym setup we are playing with. Out here. Definitely interesting, and uh, I'm the only one here. Registration. We got to go inside the Olympic Stadium, which is where the marathon will begin. It felt like an Olympic Stadium. It felt as if it should have been full with hundreds of thousands of people cheering. But there were people just training there. Good news, I have collected my bib. It is official, I'm gonna be running my first marathon in the DPRK. Bring it on. Amazing. Wow. Um, so we did go see that food factory. Um, it was announced as the food factory for the athletes' food. I was expecting something similar as power bars. What else would you expect? Oh, for me? Thank you. Thank you very much. So we go there and it's all candy, bread, cakes, different candy, rice cakes, and so on. I was like, okay, um, all right, 
I don't know, I was confused. Either way, they made us go through a whole factory. It was interesting, I guess. This worker's still working, and it was like 7, 7 p.m. Nice. Cool. We go up floor by floor, pretty much, and we end up on the third floor, and we go one floor further up, and we're randomly in this in this pool. There's this pool. There's a pool with fake palm trees with uh, birds, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, athletes like weightlifters swimming in the pool, and there's all these tables set up with beer, candy, cake, pretty much the food that we saw before. And I'm just like, oh my god, what is this? Like, what is this? It's like so unreal. So we've got lots going on here. We've got some chicken feet, some meat, and the boss of the factory. Miriam, you gonna eat a chicken foot? So can I introduce Mr. Om Yun Chol, who is the most famous weightlifter in the TPRK? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So it's just come here for the recovery. Yes. Om Yun Chol is one of the most famous weightlifters in the TPRK. 기다면 시상대 나오고 또 공화국 깃발 희난이 눈 속에서 다 일대 국 감정인가 나 일대 처음 눈물을 냈단 말이에요. 다 일대 감정이라는 건 말할 수 없단 말이에요. 이 지금 그저 도쿄 올림픽 준비하느라 그저 맹 훈련하고 있어. 기가공 그저. First again, gold medal again. Yeah. What's his secret to winning? 나 우리 숨이 이렇게 명했다 언제나다. 유명한 최고 선수가 농축해서 다 이렇게 우리 최근들이 이렇게 두신 걱정 없이 어제 훈련에만 전심 드는 이렇게 모든 다 스파고 생활 모든 불편함 없이 다 이렇게 다 이렇게 보장해주고 그 어제 다 경기랑 나와서 이렇게 우승하고 돌아오면 다 최상의 유명해도 안겨주고 또 이렇게 선물 집도 다 안겨 그게 다 우리들의 사랑의 시민이 되고. Yeah, so that's I feel like it's very centralised here. So the athletes, they say hand selected, and they all come here. They all train here, and they eat, sleep, and breathe their sport. Uzo, we in Australia, the sport is not in Australia. The sport is not in Australia. 그걸 튼튼히 하게 만들고 또 이에 기초해서 그 전문 세운스도 많이 나오고. For them, it's really important to kind of start as early as you can to become the Olympic winners. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯. They're just choosing people. You know, you're good at this, or we're going to train you in this. They definitely have less freedom. Everything here is monitored to a fine tooth comb. It's that factory conveyor belt system. You wake up, you will eat this, you will train like this, and you will be the best. It's definitely a way for the athletes to kind of lead a different life, you know, have a different lifestyle, especially if they win gold for their country.
그래서 제가 하고 제7차 세계 육상선수권대 마라선 경기에서 1등 하실 그 당시 단독 비행기로 보내주셔서 저를 거기서부터 여기까지 데려와 주셨고 또큰 정말 우리 고급 살림집과 고급 승용차 친 부모도 주실 수 없는 사랑과 배려를 돌려주셔서 오늘은 이렇게 나라에서 공부를 시켜서 그 나라의 한계정을 맡은 그런 오유탄 일꾼으로 키워주시고 또 최고위민의 대윤까지 정말 사업을 하도록 이렇게 그 이전에 그 배려를 돌려주셨다. 그때 그, 그 하늘도 없는 정말 평범한 마라손 선수에게 저 나라의 최고 용인 공화국 용칭호 우리 공화국 용칭호라고 할 때는 우리나라에서는 목숨을 바쳐서 정말 생을 마칠 때 주는 칭호를 좋아한데 정말 정말 감 높은 칭호를 주셨습니다. 이게 아, 원래 자리 안 주시고 네. 네. 아버지 어머니 그다음에 여기 바로 지각점 지각 지각점 김치 김치 <웃음> 그러니까 체조 시작한 거는 일곱 살 때부터 시작했는데 요저 당에서 저 우리 때 나의 자국만 싸불 기중이 여기고 망령대학생 선영전에서 최조의 첫걸음을 떼도록 이렇게 배려해 주시고 그다음에 내가 열살때 사이어 집단에서 이게 부문 최조 선수로서 이게 자기 재능을 마음껏 하려도 이 당에서 다 벗어날 수 있습니다. 그때 이제 일등하고 어 시상대에 올때 우리 경기하는 최고 선수께서 제일 기뻐하시고 어 경기에서 이기고 돌아오면. 용광의 기념 사진도 이렇게 찍어주시고, 그다음에 요 지금 같이 고급 살림집과 고급 승용차 등다 베풀어 주십니다. 우리 아까 숨에 고맙기를 달고 저게 전원과 명예를 위해 싸우는 우리 체육인들이 그 가장 숭고한 의무이고 명예이기 때문에 그죠. 금메달이 나한테 중요한 게 아니고 우리 저게 어머니 저게 드리는 선물입니다 이게. The athletes that have done well. Are treated very well. They're essentially the elitist in this country. You win a medal at the Olympics, you are the best. You've performed on the international stage. That someone that has experienced something that the majority of this country have not. I can't just leave the hotel and walk around. I can't just even leave the hotel and run around, even in the complex. Um, I don't think they would like that at all. You're not allowed to go anywhere without a Korean guide. They're always kind of trying to keep us together, really, like a, a herd of sheep, I feel. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not driving past me, it's too slow. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Ginesa. Yeah! And you? My name is Kim Hee Young. Kim Hee Young! Yeah. And your name? My name is Han Sun Young. Han Sun Young! <laughs> Nice to move, nice to meet the local runners, kind of putting it all in perspective. It really shows how sport is the common language, the one thing that connects, connects us all. I'm中国国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国家国
everything seemed so normal and I didn't expect it to be that normal. So here we are at the zoo. But all the possible activities, everything's empty. The ice rink, it was empty. The zoo, it was pretty empty. The amusement parks, they're closed. They're under renovation. All right. Let's get out. The lovely lady was waiting for us here. Gonna get a little tour. It's like these two parts in my head. The one is telling me, hey, the things you read about this country are not true. Maybe it changed. Maybe it's, you know, just more normal now. And then on the other hand, I'm like seeing these weird things. Hopefully by the end of this trip, I kind of figure things out a little more. So I'm about to do my first run in the DPRK. Definitely a little bit different than a normal run at home, that's for sure. They're actually going to follow me, um, so I'm not going running on my own. very very lucky to be able to go for a run here I managed to get about two and a half miles in the legs which was amazing it was my first time actually outside moving more than a hundred yards and just to feel the Sun on my skin and breathe in the air and yeah, get a bit of pace in the legs was a really good feeling and I felt honoured to be able to do that. I was followed in the car and it really was a special experience. I was running along, waving to people and I got some really interesting looks. Many people waving and smiling but then turning and being like, whoa, what is she doing? Running in the DPRK is not a normal thing. You don't just go running on the streets. That's not what you do here. The luxury of being able to walk out of your door and go for a run, that's a luxury here. So I feel very privileged to have been able to go for a two and a half mile run. I felt so good afterwards. Hopefully that set me up well for the marathon. It's race day tomorrow. Tons of athletes arrived today. I pretty much saw them all this morning at breakfast. It was cray cray, crazy. Huge crowd. You had to actually stand in line to get some food. So we're at food dinner, alone, day before the marathon. Okay. Spicy I'm tofu has turned up, pretty legit. However, all the power is out. Mm. We yes. have come to the conclusion that because of the marathon, there's lots of tourists in the hotel. So everybody has many powerful devices, which we think has shorted the current electricity. It's still light outside, but hopefully we get some light soon. Busiest I've seen it so far. They're all going into the stadium. Yeah. Wow. It's actually mental. There are thousands of people lining up.
my being in the stadium, it almost felt as if I was at the Olympic opening ceremony. I don't think I've ever seen so many people in a stadium clapping in a ceremonial way. It was almost theatrical, like it had been rehearsed. It was just a sea of, of black, very little color, all clapping in sync. I sort of entered the stadium and looked at this sea of people and then had the opportunity to stand in the center as if I was an athlete competing at the Olympics. They really created this element of world stage, a sense of pride. This is our country. Welcome. We do sport and we do it big style. And we're going to show you how. Giving me goosebumps. It, it was powerful. <laughs> feeling was, whoa, I've been let loose. I am out on the streets and this is my opportunity to interact with the locals and really get a sense of the environment. Throughout this week, we've been chaperoned from place to place, door to door. Just, whoa, this is actually happening. During the race, all the foreigners had their phones or their GoPros out. I was, by the way, one of them. <laughs> go, 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 go. Yeah. And the North Koreans, of course, they didn't have that. The people on the streets, they didn't film us. Yeah. Amazing. They were just waving, and I think that's what made them happy. Okay. 
I don't think they see a lot of foreigners in general. So they were even more happy to see us run and literally waved at us. And little kids, like the moms, showing the little kids how to wave. <laughs> The marathon was designed as out and back. I think what was different about this is the direction of the marathon was to suit what they wanted to showcase. And there were straight roads, many straight roads. I think there were only about five turns in the whole course, which meant you were running four miles in a straight line. It seemed endless. Home straight. Down. Stadium around. And I'm done. Stadium. I don't think I've ever had that much fun, honestly. I made it. And I think uh, it only took me an hour, so. I'm pretty stoked, actually. Wow. I mean, the atmosphere is unique. It's not just a race. It's, um, it's an adventure. It's an experience. I mean, I was smiling for 10 kilometers. OK, maybe a kilometer six. You know, it was a little hard for 500 meters, and then I was smiling again. It's hard to actually be that happy, you know? But that's what sport does. It makes you happy. It makes me happy. Up until seven miles, I was like, this is a breeze. I've never done a marathon before. This is gonna be fine. Once we turned that corner and started heading back, it all became a reality. And I was like, well, this, this is actually really, really far. I've heard so much about this mysterious wall and my knee went and I was like, this, this is what they talk about. We're deep. We're in the pain cave. We're approaching mile 17. Feet are sore. But we're going to do this. Digging deep. So from mile 20 onwards, it was a real battle of mental strength against myself. Can you make it? Yes, you can, Amy. My knee really hurts. No, your knee's fine. Yet, looking around the streets on the way back, people break down around you. Kim Hai Gyeong, one of the top runners from the DPRK, actually went down. <laughs> My knee's jacked. <laughs> and it's like this internal fear of, I hope that doesn't happen to me. And I got chatting to an Irish guy, and we teamed up. And between the both of us, Annie Mack in my left ear. We powered through. In my mind, I did doubt myself. But it's this ability to close that box and open the other door. You can always find a positive thought. It's there somewhere. You just have to close the door and open the other one. And every time I looked at the ground, I felt that sense of negativity. And then I'd lift my head and be like, wow, that's a long road, but you can do it. And that's what I learned. It's a different kind of performance. Let's do it. The country's not watching you, but you do want to succeed for yourself and in place being in this unique opportunity.
put on a brave face, but that was tough. Really tough. Oh, I'm looking forward to an ice bar. Maybe some tofu and some salad. Yeah. 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 Maybe some kimchi. Yeah. It was interesting to see how they handle things here, especially with athletes. The system works differently where I'm from. In the end, what makes a better athlete? I don't know. But let's just put it that way. I'm happy I had it the way I had it. Out of 133, I got 19. Yes. And I got 19 uh, having fun and clapping hands and waving and filming at the same time. Who knows, maybe I'm coming back next year and uh, maybe I'm going to try to run the half marathon. In essence, I say mission complete. I finished in 13th overall. So I'll definitely take that for my first marathon. Sport is powerful. Sport brings people together and it also humanizes environments like this. I'm leaving with a big smile on my face. This is a great experience just seeing as well. Sports just connects, it connects people.